Hi there, Mark here again. Welcome to this, which is uh, the Fighter Buggy RX Memorial build guide on the DTO1 chassis. So uh, let's get cracking with it. Now there aren't that many parts to this kit, so it shouldn't take too long to complete. Uh, well, we'll see how we go. Um, first things first, we're going to start on step two because step one is just charging the battery. And what we need to do, as it shows here, is open parts bag A, and that's going to do steps one to five with all the parts in this bag. So I'm just going to get these out and put them in this pot. So there you go, not many parts for these five steps. So what we need first is this part MA7, which is uh, handily already got those ball joints already put on for us. And we just need to pop on these parts A6, which are the steering tie rods. They should just click on quite easily. Yep. So that's that. Then we need our chassis. And following the orientation of the diagram, tip that over, push the arms through the hole. Then you just need this 3 by 2 screw. It's got a like a washer built in. And it just goes in there. Then you need part D1, which is the, uh, well it says that it's a body mount, but I think it holds the top of the shocks as well, so it's a shock mount. And that kind of just clips into there and then there's the two holes we need to put the other MA2 3x10 screws in. Again they're the screws with a kind of built-in washer on the top. So we just get those done up and that's the end of step two. On to part three which is the suspension arms or well basically we're putting the steering arms and the axles onto the suspension arms. So if you just line the parts up again like it shows in the diagram and then you match your parts up here, they're one to one, uh, exactly the same scale, one to one scale. So use your steering arms, get the right side and MA6, which is this one. Simply position that in there and hold that in place with one of the screw pins. Fit the other one in the other side. Straight to step four, we're going to attach these to the chassis. Uh, they're marked right and left quite clearly, you can't go wrong. So you just get your chassis and they just clip in like so into these slots. Once they're in place, just get your front bumper, just slots in like that, and then you've got your last four screws at this screw bag part, uh, screw bag A. And the two long ones go in the front, and the two shorter 10 mil ones go at the rear. Just get those done up, and then all we need to do is snap the uh, steering arms on. I'll just do that in a sec. It is a bit easier if you use those. So that's step five finished. On to step six, which is assembling the left side of the gear case. Um, for this, we want to open parts bag B, like it shows here, and that's going to do us all the way through from this step to step 13. And as you can see, there's quite a few more parts in parts bag B. Okay then. You're also going to need to open the bag with uh, your gears in, and your differential and your spur gears. So first off get the left side of your gear case which is the one that's got the uh, the lip all the way around the joint there. Get that lined up with your diagram, get your spur gear, put some grease on it if you want to, I'll do mine later. So you can see what I'm doing at the moment, you put your smaller bearing in this end which is your, 11, your 850 or your bushing if you've got that and the 1150 bearing or bushing in the other side. You want your metal bar MB17 which is your solid metal bar which that's going to pivot on and then we want to place that into the hole in the centre there okay so that should spin on that like so then you want plastic part C2 
that's going to go onto those three lugs in there like that and then get those three 3x10 three screws in to hold that in place okay when that's in put your other bearing or bushing your 1150 in there like so then you want your MB18 drive shaft we've got to get this circle or e-clip onto this end I tend to put mine on by pressing down on the on the bench so just put it in the groove and give it a push down yeah that's located on there then we've got MB6 which is your tiny washer and that just goes through that bearing and it should come out on the other side where we're going to fit the wheel later okay on to step seven which is the right hand side of the gear case the main thing here is to get part C1 and make sure this is aligned correctly there's a little cutout that you need at the bottom shows there you've got my nail in there so basically that locates on that lug there can only go the one way around and we secure this with four 10mm screws okay so once you've done those up you want to put your 1150 bushing or bearing into that hole like that get your other drive shaft again put that circlip on the end and then you want your 5mm washer again up against that circlip and simply push that through step out to making up your differential gear so you're going to need to get your grease out now and get a bit greasy um, first thing to do is get your larger bevel gear get some grease on this and then get your 9mm washer that goes over there uh, get some grease on all of that first yep so get greasy get your washer on and then you want to drop that into the bottom of your differential cover like that get your star shaft and your three little planetary gears, gears it calls them small bevel gears get some grease on all of this first onto these bars and place those planetary gears on okay once you've made that up you can just drop that into the the bottom half of the case like so make sure that those bars the three bars go into the three grooves and you can get a load more grease on there if you want get your other large bevel gear and drop it down on top of that drop your other 9mm washer on top of that get the spur gear part of the differential case and that should slot on and it should line up on this kind of three slots on there you'll feel when it's gone all together okay and then simply put in these 2x6x8 which are much smaller screws than the other ones we've been using with a bigger head and there's three of those that just hold the case together and when it's finished it should look like this so in step 9 we're just going to put that differential inside the case and put the cases together so get this side line it up with your diagram I think that just slots on there what you need to do now is get the other side of the case and join them together and all we need now is the three 3x12 three self tapping screws and we've got one in there one in this hole here and one in there just do those up for step 10 you're going to need your motor and then you need the motor plate which is this kind of cardboard type affair and that just needs to clip over like so and line up the holes with the mount holes then you need your pinion 17 tooth that's supplied and then you need that tiny little grub screw you won't be able to see on the end of my allen key there and we'll just uh, get that started and then we're going to place that on the shaft don't do it up yet because we need to set this as it shows in the diagram here at uh, 
15 millimeters away from that motor plate. That looks about right. So just nip that up now. Okay, so on to step 11 where we're going to fit this into the uh, gearbox case. So you need part C3 and your two MB1 27mm long screws. Just put those through the holes. Get that ready. Get a bit of grease on the pinion. And then as it shows for the 17 tooth pin you need that hole there at the top and that one at the bottom. You can see that. And then you need to try and get those screws into those two holes in the motor. Easier said than done. You can actually feel when that uh, the screw engages in the hole. So yeah, just a matter of uh, feeling for it. So tighten these up and then it's on to step 11. Step 12 is attaching the battery holder, which is this thing. And uh, if we just follow the alignment again of the diagram, it looks like this goes on there. And there are the three 10 mil screws. I'm going to use my own hex head screws in here because I find them easier to screw in with the hex head than the uh, JIS or Phillips type head. So that's part D3 then with that screw there, one there and one there. Okay so to finish this step we need to put this part D5 and your A5 which are these parts. So that slots in like so, only fits in the one way up. So yeah, goes in that way and then we put this D5 kind of cap on the top just to hold that in and a 10mm screw in the hole. On step 13 we're going to be fitting the uh, gearbox case and so you need your long shaft and that's got to go through that pivot point there and then line up your brace, push that all the way through And then the other end of that uh, shaft goes into the part we just fitted in step 12. That gives you your pivot. And then just to get this all in place, we need the other plastic part, which is D4. And it just shows here that you're going to be using a step screw um, into that hole there. Okay, and now we can fit this part again using the three with 10 mil screws. It fits on like that. Let's get those three screws in. One in there, one in there, and one at the front there. So on to step 14 where we're going to be making up the dampers, front and rear. And so this will be step 14, 15 and 16 to make up the, uh, the shocks all together. You need to open up parts bag C, which will have all the parts for the dampers. So get that open. So that's parts bag C. And just a quick note here, you're going to be using parts V and parts W, which are the short ones for the front. So V and W for the front. And parts X and parts Y, which are the longer bodies for the rears. Now I'll just show you making one of the dampers because the process is all the same um, but obviously just make sure you're using the right parts if you follow the manual and it should be okay. First thing you need to do is get your shot body and get your o-rings, the little black o-rings. You want to put those in the bottom and put a bit of oil on those just to lubricate them. I tend to sometimes put a bit of silicon grease on instead of the oil to do the same job. Okay, Once you've done that you screw your bottom cap on but do not screw it all the way tight, else you won't get the rod through. For the rears it's the longer rod of the two, which is a kind of darker metal than the shorter, which is chrome for the fronts. So obviously we're doing the back, we're going to need this one. I'm going to do my little shock trick, filling it up without getting bubbles. I've just put that in, blocked off the hole. I'm going to pour my damper oil in now. And hopefully we won't get any air trapped under that piston. Okay, so that's full to the top. I'm going to push this through now. You should see the oil. There you go. Coming through and hopefully 
the bubbles will be at the surface and not underneath that piston. A few taps, just give that a minute and then we're going to put the top seal on which for the rear dampers are the red ones and uh, these are green for the front so just put that on see a bit of oil coming out that's fine it means it's full to the top let's get your top cap screw that on and then we can tighten them up against each other to get the top and bottom caps nice and tight just check a nice bit of damp in there yeah and again only on the rears we're going to use this part x3 which is kind of a spacer tube that just goes over the shaft and then the longer of the two shock bottoms which is the X2 give that a nip up there we go and to finish this shock you just put, simply put your spring on we've got this part which is X5 for the rears it just clips around that shock bottom and there you go we need to just put some spacers uh, choose the spacers that you want we'll get it set up uh, properly when we're running it so yeah for now that's how you do the shock so make another three okay then with the shocks finished we've got quite far with the build but um, I like to keep this video a bit shorter so we're going to call this a, to a close and I hope you join me on the next one where we'll be finishing the whole chassis and uh, it won't take long to do that and then we'll be having a go at this uh, lovely bodywork bit of a giveaway there I might be trying to think of uh, a way of adapting this a little bit but uh, there you go hopefully you'll join me on the next one and we'll get this thing done thanks again bye